हेलो गाइस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल विवेक पांडे एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द क्विज लैंड लाइक द द क्विजेस ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट्स सो इफ यू आर कमिंग डायरेक्टली टू दिस वीडियो देन आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज गो एंड सॉल्व द बेसिक डेटा टाइप्स क्विज इट इज इन द प्ले ऑफ क्विज लैंड so that uh, in the first video quiz 1 then quiz 2 then you can solve this one because if you don't have a understanding about data types you cannot solve uh, operators then type casting all those so those things are covered in the last two now here it is all about conditional statements like if uh, how to use if if else if you know all those things then only you can uh, proceed further so i welcome you all once again to to this playlist special it is what quiz land in this quiz land it is a third video as you can see the thumbnail so now uh, as uh, as uh, as a regular uh, i will be just giving you 1 minute of a time uh, to solve it now let's see if you can able to solve it or not this video is just for yourself guys for my students uh, they do know they do have a concept you all know the concepts that concept you have to apply and just check what is the answer you are going to get yeah so if it is taking a more time also it is fine it's okay but you are getting exact answer or not this is for your placements you know that uh, how competition it is outside so that is the reason i wanted you to be perfect in each and every topic whatever i am teaching you all so let's uh, start the quiz first quiz so here i am just starting the timer just for a one minute now here what i have done here is just uh, if inside the if i have taken so it can be an example of nested if so directly if you are coming to solve this no first you have to learn what is if how this if else work what is the flow of this if you wanted to learn you can go to the python playlist in my video then you can solve it easily 30 seconds Five, four, three, two, and then one. Stop. So I guess you have tried it. If you not, then please uh, like move backward the video and then try to solve it again. If you are feeling that time is not sufficient for you, but here as of now it is only one minute is given. Now let's go with the second question. And the time starts now. yeah now it is starting now in earlier question i have given if elif all those elif quiz are also there but here it's only if now you need to think if it is only if then what happens and if it is uh, elif then what happens you have to do all these experiments then only you will like in future you, you will feel that it is easy to work with all this or else it will be very difficult and complicated I mean, agenda is make you to understand the concept. Once you understood the concept, then you have to try those concept in these kind of uh, scenarios and get the answer. So one more thing, guys, please try to be yourself. Means try by yourself only. Whatever the knowledge, whatever the knowledge you have tried with that, don't try to copy. So time is up. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Fine. okay so we are done with the second question now let's go with the third question and your time starts now in this third question it is a electric bill problem and uh, in this units i have given 370 if it is 370 then what will be the amount total charge now see i have segregated here so if it is less than 50 the unit is getting multiplied the charge is 0.50 like that so different different uh, 
sector sec i have divided it then finally what would be the answer just you need to try to solve it step by step and try to check whether you are getting the right output or not Five, four, three, two, one. Stop, guys. So this is the third question. I know one minute will not be sufficient, but you can take more time. Now, let's go with the fourth one. Now, fourth one. Yeah. Now your time starts now. In this fourth one, what I have done is I have taken a two values, and that values I am updating like. Uh, yeah keep on updating in different uh, conditions if the condition is true the value will get updated so finally you have to find out what is x and what is y guys okay, so we all know how to deal with the if else conditions but it is a high time and with a high competition now and nowadays if you know only simple if else uh, nested if uh, it will not work out you have to know in and out of it so that is the reason i'm making all this so that it will be helping you to give a new approach exposure to a new new kind of uh, problems okay 5 4 3 2 1 stop okay so i hope you tried let's go with the fifth one if you got started okay fifth one is here guys and the time starts now in this fifth one i made it bit more uh, we can say harder level so if you can able to solve all this by your own it means that you will get one confidence guys so just take a book on a paper or on a book with a pen try by yourself once you get the answer and just once you compare with the system answer the interpreter then that kind of a satisfaction which one you will get na that is at the next level yeah so this is this is going to help you out. We are done with the fifth question. Two, three, two, and one. Stop. Okay. So I hope up to fifth question, five questions you are done. Now let's go with the sixth question. From here we can expect a bit the increase in the harder level, like levels. Now this is what sixth question, and your time starts now. So in this question. i have taken the three number systems one is uh, hexadecimal binary and octal and then i am giving the conditions in this condition again i am trying to update the values okay so here we have number system here we have conditions relational operator and we have also bitwise operators so it is like a mixture of many things many logics are there here so the same thing here also. if you solve by yourself you'll get a different kind of a satisfaction guys and once you started solving you will not stop you wanted to solve many more other things which will help you to get closer to your goal or the package which you are expecting so these are very fundamentals these things you should know the idea how to solve 5 4 3 2 1 stop so there's a sixth one you have i guess you have tried at least okay let's go with the seventh one seventh question on your screen and let me start the timer also your time starts now here the same thing but here uh, some more operators i have used here see in the else uh, but here outside of the else is also there so we have condition inside the condition 
nested nested if it is there and in the else also yeah in else we have again if we have and then finally you have to print what in the form of hex bin and oct so hexadecimal binary and octal that value should be so try by your by yourself yeah you can discuss with your friends later on once you get the answer so it will be like a healthy competition between you and your friend who is going to do it first okay it's done five four three two one stop okay so finally we are done with the seven questions now let's go with the eighth one and check what is the difficulty level in eighth question oh my god so your time starts now so the eighth question here what i can see is yeah x y z and then lot of calculations here yeah i'm using this compound assignment operator here yeah and then if lf and elif x in uh, z comma y i guess this is a bit new maybe for you and in this result you have to print result and then x plus y plus z and then floor division by 9 five four three two one stop so done i guess you understood uh by seeing this you may have uh you have afraid i know a bit bit become a nervous how to solve this but step by step see nothing is there here we have conditions if the condition is true it will go inside if the condition is not true it will go to the next if uh, simple so just you know that flow and then you just need to substitute this that's it so let's go with the next one without wasting our time ninth question on your screen and your time starts now oh here this time we have all the number systems u v w x this is ninth question so as it is a ninth one so level is increased in this what is the if the condition is true then u is getting updated v is getting updated and w is also getting updated yes and then finally what you are printing you are just printing just multiplying all this just check whether you can able to do it or not if you are not able to do then where you are lagging which concept you wanted to brush up so whatever the concept you are lagging please do realize that as soon as possible 5 4 3 2 stop okay fine guys i hope uh, you tried this now let's go with the next question so next question obviously it will be what it will be a bit different yeah let's see how it is uh, different from others so now your time starts now and your 10th question on your screen so many of you are wondering what is this question sir yes this is a question this is a combination of uh, condition and slicing so in this i have given slicing operator so here it is my name vivek and pandey this is my nickname rajan so on this i'm using what slicing and based on this again i'm taking this updating the a value based on this even yes so it is totally about slicing yeah slicing and conditional statement so it is having many logic not only one so we need to get habituated of working with a many la many logics multiple logics that will be help us that will surely is going to help us in exam so your time is up okay fine so we are done
10 questions are done of conditional statements whoever is coming if you are coming here for the first time i i would recommend you to first watch uh, quiz 1 quiz 2 then quiz 3 because quiz 1 is very basic then operators and conditional statements then quiz 4 will be of uh, iterative statements like this will go ahead and will increase the concept by concept okay so now next next one is yeah students yeah if this is my effort right this i'm doing for you so if you found it really helpful then please do subscribe like because uh, it really gives us a kind of gives me a motivation you know like in the night i don't have actually the time you know like college and then classes online classes but still i'm taking a half an hour to 45 minutes to make all this so you can appreciate by like and subscribe it's not wrong in that so that's it guys thank you for watching